Community Blood Center to remind us that our blood flows through our veins and keeps us alive, and we can take some of that out. Well, they can. That way I'm, oh boy, I'm doing this bad. I'm doing, I'm doing a bad job with this one today. I thought my, my mind was the only one that was oatmeal today. And, and, yeah, and, so anyway, you can, you can go to Life South, and they will take some of that out and yes. say to somebody else, like, boy, I messed it up on you again. I'm so sorry. How many times? A thousand. I've probably done this a thousand times. Mm-hmm. You, you, your blood is keeping you alive. It can keep somebody else alive, too. Galen, help me out. Bail me out of this. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry Robbins. How are you? I'm pretty good. Yeah. Um, you know, you could always ask for a self-service kit, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you can just do it yourself, you know. Oh, man. Oh, gosh, that would be a disaster if I did it. Everything I try <laughs> to do imagine? myself. Yeah. I try- you know what? I- I'm always amazed. I'm always amazed. Like in movies, you know, they have these people who are, you know, stitching themselves up. And, right, right, uh, right. You know, I'm like, uh, that's not very likely. So, I mean, just imagine, and, and this is what I, I, I told I tell people this all the time, just try to take a pen and, and draw in your, in, on your arm like that and try to draw something, you know, like even a stitch or like you're going to stick a needle with yourself. Oh, my God. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's not, it, it's, it, it, yeah. No. Well, I had a girlfriend, uh, a, a couple of girlfriends, and they would uh, pierce the other girl's ears and, and self-pierce their own, but they would put ice cubes oh, on, on the uh, lobes, you know, and, the, and the, honest to God, true story, but I never did that. Mm-mm. Was never the recipient. I went to an expert. I can't hear what, what, what are you saying, Galen? Are you screaming? He's gone. Oh, he's gone? He's gone. What was he saying? I don't know. I think he was... Maybe it was the phone. Maybe he was getting out of range. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. But my girlfriend did, did that. Oh, there he is. He's back. <coughs> but I never did it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry we, about that. We lost you. We don't know what happened there. Yeah. I thought maybe we were really right. he- being queasy over over Robin's talk. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. <laughs> Sorry about that. I hit the wrong button. All right. Uh, let's see. So today's topic is the top 10 things men won't admit. <laughs> I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> see if you and Galen admit them. <laughs> uh, and, uh, but before we do that, let's take a phone call, and then we'll find out what the blood supply needs are. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning. Hey. Hey, Robin, that must be a Wisconsin thing with uh, piercing your ears, uh, uh, bar, you know, the, the crazy way. Uh, I remember my friend froze my ear with an ice cube, cut a potato in half, and put it behind to give it um, support. Exactly. The needle through. Yeah. And then she took, and she did the dumb thing, but we didn't have white thread, so she used black thread, and then I ended up with an ear infection. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's really <laughs> true, my Linda. I was mad because I wasn't supposed to get my ears pierced. Exactly. <laughs> that's why the girls did it. <laughs> yeah, I still remember that today, and it was probably 40 years ago, you know? Oh, Literally. yes. Thank, for thank sure. God you just go to mall now and they stick a real fast gun through and go, you're done. I know. Back then it was like there was blood, there was ugh, no thanks. Yeah, yeah. I think we had to have a couple of years. I think I was probably around 15 when we did it. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I yeah. <didn't> take care. <laughs> My hunch it wasn't a Wisconsin thing. My hunch it, my hunch it was a, a, a girl thing everywhere, probably. Yeah, probably. Thank you, Linda. Appreciate the call. Uh, what, is the, what do we need to know about the blood supply? Uh, you know, we have just over a two-day blood supply, and so we, we just need the people to continue to give and, and uh, donate so that we can just make sure that we have a safe and adequate blood supply in our community. Okay, the uh, important message that Galen delivers and uh, yesterday's accident in the news this morning is just one and, and, and the news, I mean, we got that news from our listeners yesterday before we heard about it any other way. Yeah. And that's just another another example of why Galen does what he does every day so that when we, you know, so that there's a blood supply when we need it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so thank the folks at Penn Flooring and Palm Garden for enabling us to do that message. Penn Flooring has some beautiful flooring. Go over there and check it out. They're at 1201 Southwest 17th Street. They've got a showroom where you can check out the, the samples and uh, imagine what it would look like in your home. Yeah. The uh, showroom is just over the McKay Williams Bridge, Mm -hmm. which is just a few blocks from Pine Avenue on 17th Street. And then the uh, other sponsor is Palm Garden. They have a facility not too far from here at the Paddock Mall. And it's a skilled nursing facility where uh, you can have a home away from home when you need to have rehabilitation or a home away from home temporarily while you are uh, getting some respite break if you're a caregiver. 
It's a wonderful place. And uh, perhaps some long-term <laughs> health care, if, if that's that's what you need, skilled nursing care. Uh, it's, it's just a wonderful facility, great people, and I uh, just love that place. Go to Palm Garden and thank them for sponsoring Galen Uno and, tell, mm-hmm. t- and say hey to Jan. Hey, Jan. Yeah. Hey, Jan. <laughs> How you doing over there? How's it going, Jan? See if you can figure <laughs> out which one is Jan. Yeah. <laughs> She's the cute person. It won't take you long to figure that out. <laughs> Uh, oh, before we do the, the thing men won't admit, there's a, a, a sports story today I wanted to ask you something about. Sure. Let's see. Individual workouts begin today uh, at the NFL Scouting Combine in Indianapolis. What is that? What is a combine? It's basically where, uh, you know, incoming uh, people to the NFL go, and they basically have a little workout, and they run a 40-yard dash and lift weights and get pictures taken of themselves, and talk to NFL officials and uh, get ready for the draft. Mm, okay. It's like a job interview. Oh, okay. So, for so, an athlete. So, so, so the draft is, is actually something you kind of apply for? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. You, you, yes, that's exactly right. And it's going to be televised. That's amazing. Yeah, it's silly. It's silly. N- I mean, televised at 9 guys o'clock. running around in shorts. <laughs> yeah, they're just running around in shorts. It's been going on for... You know, 30 years, 40 years, 35 well, you, years, I think. Now. Well, you have an NFL network. They've got to put something on at 9 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> the NFL is, you know, 12, it's it's 12 months a year now. It's uh, 365 days. And, uh, yeah, hmm. I, I don't know where you would have to be in your life to want to watch that. Unless your son is participating, <laughs> you know, I think that's a, I think that's the only way I would watch that. Yeah, if, you I know, think... if a friend or somebody, you'd have to like have a personal connection with them, with someone to watch it. So and go, oh my gosh, my son's on the NFL Network. You know, I mean, I, I think that would be the the highlight. So yeah. Now, if it was the if it was the women's football league and they were running around in shorts, would you tune in? Well, you know they have something called the lingerie league. I, no, it's not really? the lingerie league. It's a lingerie it's the women's league. football league, and they basically wear uh, lingerie. Oh, cool! So, uh, I've got, have you, you know, ever it's watched like on Spike TV? Have you ever watched? No, it? I've seen like highlights. <laughs> I, you know, once in a while, across my feed for some reason, probably from searching Walgreens, the uh, the the a highlight or something will come across my feed and you're compelled to watch it just because of the caption you know the photo caption like well I have to check this out. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. yeah I mean they're re- they're they are very athletic and I, I, I'm not taking <laughs> it's anything a good way to say it yeah so way to say it. they are selling they are selling something besides football <laughs> in that league okay so gotcha sounds like fun and they hit each other I mean they're wearing shoulder pads and, and helmets and bikinis <laughs> <laughs> bikinis. <laughs> true. Oh, it's, oh, it's I true. believe you. Oh, it's like bi- it's like bikini. It's like in. bikini bow fishing. It's a new sport that, that Doug and I have discovered. That's not a new sport. That's been around for a long time, Larry. Well, I was uh, on the TV. Well, well, the word "new" was uh, applying to me to me and Doug. <laughs> it was new to me. There you go. It's like my car. There you go. My car. <laughs> my car is in 2005, but it's new to me. Exactly. There you go. That's fair enough. All right. Fair enough. Uh, by by the way, we found a new a new um fishing thing i gotta introduce to doug i don't know if he knows mm-hmm. about this show what was it called barehanded fishing or something yeah yeah have you ever seen this bear Noodling? huh yeah where they go down and grab catfish yes 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 yeah i think it's called canoodling but there's a there's a reality show where they get people from like sure well i think it takes place in louisiana and they get people from like new yep. york and los mm-hmm. angeles they get city kids yeah. yeah well it's big in oklahoma that's that's really where oh it, where it I, think, and, I think you're right i think that's mm-hmm. where it is yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> big thing in, in oklahoma and and they catch catfish that weigh you know 100 pounds yeah, but you get yes. hit by those so. barbs and you're done well the one guy oh. the, the one guy i saw he didn't want to go underwater oh. And and he did, <laughs> and and he got a forty three pound uh, catfish, and and so that was the biggest one that the piece I watched. I, wow! It basically they, what they want, what you have to do is put your hand down there and let that that catfish just chomp down on your wrist. Oh! oh. And then you pick it up, but you know it's it's illegal in some states. Really? Because uh, yeah, there's a real risk for drowning. I mean, if you get a hundred pound catfish. 
It, I guess so. You under the water. Yeah, I guess so. I well, guess that would happen. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know they bit you. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, that's how they get them to. That's how they bring them up. No, oh, my goodness. To practice I'm gonna watch it with pond. Doug. I'll watch it with Doug tomorrow morning. <laughs> Doug will come over for breakfast in the morning. We'll watch it together. It takes, by the way, it appears that it takes very little skill. Uh, once you find the fish, you just stick your hand down there and let them chomp on it, and then you <laughs> lift it up. I mean, it's uh, wow. You know, it's not like you have to bait a hook or cast anything. You just stick your hand down there. It was fun but to the watch. Scary, they have. They, I watched some show. I watched some stupid stuff. I watched some show where it was a, it was a fishing tournament. It was a canoodling fishing tournament. And uh, the the object was is to see who could catch the you know the largest fish, <laughs> and uh, that, that's that's what they did. It was a this sounds fishing tournament. This sounds more humane though than tossing out a hook. <laughs> I guess it does. You know, basically, this catfish is sleeping, and then it bites the wrist, and then <laughs> pull it out of the water. You know, the catfish doesn't live; they eat it. So. Oh really? Well, right. that's good. I, I that's guess good. humane right, is. Uh, a relative term. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure is. All right, we'll take a little break. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Sunny but cool day for Friday with a high between 61 and 65. Clear and cold Friday night with lows ranging from the mid-30s and a few inland spots to the lower 40s on the coast. Saturday, sunny but still cool, high 63 to 67. For Sunday, mostly sunny and becoming warmer, high 70 to 74. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Palm Garden wants to get to the heart of the matter. If you've been in the hospital as a cardiac patient, maybe you have a pacemaker or congestive heart failure or an arrhythmia, or perhaps you're a heart bypass patient, then consider Palm Garden as your rehab choice. With proven outcomes second to none, Palm Garden fixes broken hearts. Call today at 854-6262. That's 854-6262. You've Got a Garden and We've Got a Show for You. Called You've Got a Garden with your host, Master Gardener Carol Ann Baldwin. Carol Ann answers your questions about your flowers, your veggies, your grass, your trees, even questions about your bugs. And she's only on WOCA, so don't miss Carol Ann Baldwin and You've Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. So have you heard the story of the Johnston twins? Two boys separated at birth faded to meet again, not knowing they were twins. The unforgettable musical Blood Brothers ran for over 20 years on the London stage, and now you can see it at Ocala Civic Theater February 11th through March 6th. Call 352-236-2274 or buy online at ocalacivictheater.com. Beautiful Moments Party Rental presents the Ocala Wedding and Events Expo 2016 on March 3rd. This event has caterers, photographers, florists, musicians, plus food, fun, and more. Brides, bring your bridesmaids and friends alike. 100% of the ticket sales goes to the Inflammatory Breast Cancer Network Foundation, and they're only $15 each. So mark your calendars for March 3rd from 5 to 8.30 p.m. For the Ocala Wedding and Events Expo at Beautiful Moments Party Rentals, 3400 Southwest 60th Avenue. Questions call 307-8180. That's 307-8180. Come out to the third annual Habitat Strawberry Festival on March 5th, 2016 at the McPherson Government Complex. The goal of this festival is not only to have vendors, food, a car show, a kid's zone, live entertainment featuring the Dane Myers Band, a beauty pageant, and all things strawberry, but also raise funds to build a Habitat home for a family in our community. The Habitat for Humanity Strawberry Festival is open 9 to 5 on Saturday, March 5th, with breakfast served at 7.30. Free parking, free admission. W-O-C-A. All right, 19 minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Friday morning. The temperature is still kind of cool, 47 degrees. Expected to remain cool, reaching only the mid-60s today, dropping into the mid-30s tonight, and that's pretty much the pattern for the rest of the weekend. But sunny skies, not a, not a bad day. Is this a, a good kind of weather to go fishing, Galen? Cool weather? I can't remember. if. if uh, no, you want to you wanna, you wanna go after it gets cold. Oh, after it gets like, cold. So, like, uh, Sunday, I think, when you really want to go. Because the, the fish are going to go down deep this time of year and, and go really, really slow to maintain that, that body heat. 
So Dude. you you really I think it's going to get warm Sunday or Monday. That's when you want to go when the cold snaps over. Do the t- do, do the the tides matter for the certain time of day oh, sure. when you go fishing? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh. It's all about water temperature and depth of the water. And the, yeah. Unless unless you're going full moon matters. Unless you're going bikini boat fishing, then it doesn't really matter. <laughs> doesn't well, really it spectator. does. You know, you're not going to go bikini boat fishing if it's this cold because of water. The, the you know, in order to go bow fishing, yeah, you you have to the, the fish have to be at the top. I think the key and word they is bikini. Do it at night. Yeah, yeah. yeah the bikini. You yeah, know, but you're hoping to catch fish. Who cares? Part. At this point, who cares about catching fish? Well, if you're a spectator. Right, but you've got to, you know, you want them, you want the fish to be comfortable. You want the fishermen yeah. to be comfortable, yeah. so they can fully embrace the, uh, the, the what, what they're trying to accomplish there. Right. That's right. right. <laughs> Good way to it's word a great it, YouTube You're video. Good. I would say. <laughs> All right, here are the things that men won't admit. They won't admit that they spend way too much time watching TV. They will not admit this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's absolutely true. <laughs> I don't really watch TV, but I do watch TV shows on, on or, or portions same of thing. them. Yeah, same thing. Same thing. Yeah, so I guess I do. But 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 I would limit. My, I mean, mine is like less than an hour a day. It's very little. Well, you know, that's not that bad. Hmm. You just don't admit it, Larry, that you watch. <laughs> it's funny. Steal it. <laughs> Men won't admit that they look at pornographic magazines. Galen. Would you admit that? Is, are, are there still pornographic <laughs> magazines out there? But that's well. This oh, is, there are. This is a. There are. This yep. is an interesting question. <laughs> I mean, there's a. Uh, I mean, you can just Google it, probably whatever you're into. Yeah, but they still have the glossies out there. See, I don't know because I, I think uh, it's my <laughs> age that plays a role in this. In this, I, I, I really haven't. I, I haven't. I haven't seen one in a long time. And well, maybe, maybe it's, it's your age denial, too, but. or maybe you're just happily married. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, that, that's probably that more likely. Men won't admit reading women's now magazines. I have been to a bachelor party in like you know twenty years. So <laughs> yeah, really. We should have a bachelor party just to have a bachelor party. <laughs> Nobody's got to be married. Well, that would be that'd fun. be fine. That'd be fine. With uh, that. Well, I don't need glitter all over me. <laughs> <laughs> is that what happens? The next one is is actually the other half of that one. Men won't admit reading women's magazines like Cosmopolitan. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't read them. Because my wife doesn't have them, but I'm sure if they if they were like in the bathroom, yeah, it, I, would, I would probably I, read it. I don't think I'd have a problem admitting it. I have actually okay. There's a there's a website called Spriza where you can enter these sweepstakes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a we, cool. We site. Spoke, sure. Okay, so ever since we spoke to the guy from Spriza, I I signed up for it. Every once in a while, I get an email, so I'll go to it and I'll enter a contest to try to win a trip somewhere, mm-hmm. and I I don't win. But in doing so, I subscribed accidentally to these newsletters these email newsletters not real news for cosmopolitan <laughs> i mean cosmopolitan sends me these articles all the time they're good and i've and shared them with you date, larry I, yes I, you have I, yeah this is interesting stuff <laughs> do, 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 do you remember i told you about the, the video of the oh never mind i don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you want to just just stay in denial larry. men won't admit <laughs> men won't admit that their wives pick out what they wear Yes. Uh, you know, I'm. I, I think I'm. I'm the rarity. Like, you know, this is this. This is crazy. But when I when I tell people this, they think that you know I'm very controlling husband. But I buy all of my wife's clothes. I have a better sense of clothing style than my wife. Oh. She is in listening so, area in the listening area. You know. No, no, no. That's a documented fact. I mean, <laughs> I, I, she hasn't bought. I haven't allowed her to buy her own clothes in like uh, eight or nine years. I mean, I'm, I, I just, uh, yeah, she, her, her sense of style isn't. Let me ask you something about this. It's been a long because, time. And here's the truth. And this is, this, and she, she'll acknowledge this. I know what looks good on her better than she does. Okay. But do you have to see it in the store on a mannequin or can you actually see no, it on a hanger? I can't, I can't, I can't, uh, go to a store. I do it all online. Oh, well then you see it I on. go to a store. Then you see it on I models. To a store, I get, mm-hmm. I get very intimidated. Um, you know, you're not that men aren't necessarily welcome at clothing stores for women. <laughs> they look at you weird. Yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, and, yeah. And and I buy it online, and even though they have a local store, I'm like, I can't. Uh, People, every uh, when a guy walks in there, they look at you like, what's this? Dude but just, doing? but just, just, just uh, okay. So you don't go to the stores, but if you did, when I did, yeah. which is a million years ago, I I couldn't sure. I couldn't do it from the hangar. I had to see it on the mannequin. Mm-hmm. I had no idea what I, I this. Under, I completely respect what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. 
and that's why I do it online because and it's plus it's one at a time. I can't see, you know, when they have like racks and racks of clothes, mm-hmm. I can't determine anything, you know. But and, and that's why when you go into a man's place, there's like one style. <laughs> right? They have one style yeah, and right, then like right. in four different colors. Right, right, right. And, and then and we're good. I mean that that you know like okay. a blouse that's buttoned up versus knit or something. I get all I, I got nothing. Next thing, <laughs> men will not admit <laughs> what, men will not You're admit great. that they can't afford the finer things in life if they're at a get together, for example, and everybody's saying, "Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I I attended a forty dollar brunch the other day and it was just whatever." <laughs> I think it depends on who you're hanging out with. Yeah. So, like, when I hang out with Dan, Dan and I are both pretty broke all the time. <laughs> so, I mean, the guy, the guy owns a plane without any wings attached to it. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> yeah, we I are, mean, too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> men will not admit to pleasuring themselves. Ooh. Hmm. Galen? Who am I supposed to admit that to? I don't know. If somebody was that Other asking. Guys, locker room talk. Yeah, locker this, room talk. Uh, okay. You, does this where, come up? Where does yeah, this come up? Back. <laughs> where, where does this come up? Where does this come up? You know, I hear about this like all the time. Like I think TV or somebody will talk about it. I don't know if it's necessarily. It come up in regular conversation? I don't know that it's necessary to talk about sexually, though. I mean, it, it could just mean like pampering yourself like with a foot rub or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought guys didn't really like rubs except for one spot. You know, and I, mean, it's nothing wrong. I like a good I like a good pedicure as much as the next guy. Okay. Do you really? I don't think yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that with you either. Okay. <laughs> Tom Schmitz talks to us about his pedicure all the time. Oh, he shows us his toes. He's yeah. got great looking toes. I, I, I get them all the time. Really? Uh, not all the time. I'd like to, I'd like a foot rub. Wow. <laughs> Have you ever had a pedicure? It's one of the greatest no, things on the planet. I'm, no, 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 it's not. Not for me. This isn't going to happen. This is never. I'll tell you one of my favorite things. Mm. One of my one of my favorite things, and I would get, I would do it as often as I could. Except there's no place around here to do it. Is a shoe shine. I love getting my shoe shine. Oh, the airport has it. But yeah, right. that's Not exactly here, right. In so, Orlando. Have I ever told you the story about the shoe shine? I, I, I shine my own shoes. I, I shine my shoes <laughs> twice a week. Uh huh. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I, the shoe sh- I, every I time somebody heard. talks about a shoe shine, I, I have a different image in my mind. It's a, it's a, it's a childhood thing. Did I even? Oh, t- oh I'm g- I, I guess I there? okay. I guess I got to tell you. Okay. <laughs> when I. <laughs> When I, okay, my, my father's deceased. So, but when I, when I was a kid, I was not supposed to go into the New York City. And uh, so at 14 years old, I discovered it was easy. Just get on the train and go in. Okay. And, yeah, the, and, right? and there was this game room there that was unbelievable in, in those days. This, was, this would have been 65, 66? Yeah. No, 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 no. Game room or we No, 69. About, it would have been 1969. I'm sorry? Yes, yeah, so you were like 15, right? 16. A lot of game rooms there. No, no, there was, there was only one game room at that time. And and, and mm-hmm. the game room was skeet ball and basketball and pinball and, gotcha. and you know, yeah. all these all these non-electronic games. They were, it was very fun. So, you're like so my friend and I will walk him past this one place and uh, the guy says, hey, fellas, we got girls upstairs. So yeah. we went upstairs. And sure enough, there were ladies in lingerie, like, sitting around all over the place. <laughs> and there was one lady had a desk. All right. And, uh, gosh, I can't believe I'm telling this story on the air. <laughs> so oh, my, my friend old. says, how much? And the, and the lady says, $20. And I go, I'll meet you downstairs. So I went back downstairs. He stayed up there, right? I, I mean, right. It, it, it must have been a minute later. He was down in a minute. I mean, no time at all. <laughs> and I, I said... What happened? He said, I paid her the $20, and then I went in the back. I got up on this high chair, and it was a shoe shine, but I'm wearing sneakers, so they couldn't shine my shoes. I said, what? Did they give you the $20 back? No. (laughs) We're not going back up there. There's no way. There's no way. That guy in the front door was too scary. (laughs) So that's what I always think of with the shoe shine. (laughs) <laughs> 14-year-olds and That's girls. good stuff, Larry. Now, there's that something a man will stuff. admit, yeah. yeah. A man will admit being seduced by sirens in the city. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're out of time. Galen, oh, have see, a great weekend. Where's the Bloodmobile today? See, you, have, you have sowed your oats, Larry. Your oats have been sowed. I sowed there nothing. <laughs> I sowed. <laughs> that was not. I sowed nothing. 
<laughs> Ken, where's the Budmobile today? Uh, here at um, Publix and 48 Shopping Center today. So, And don't forget this weekend, the uh, Parrothead Club's going to be at our donor center cooking hot dogs and hamburgers. And Oh, that's awesome. And then there's some Jimmy Buffett. And, uh, All right. It's going to be a good time. Starts Thank you. At 11. Thank you, Galen. Fox News Radio. Right, I'm Lillian Wu. The clash is coming fast and furious in last night's GOP face-off with frontrunner Donald Trump under fire from Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio, who mocked Trump for repeating himself in the CNN debate. He's repeating himself. No, Mr. I'm not repeating. No, no, no. I watched him repeat himself five times four weeks ago. And I, I saw you repeat you, yourself five times five meltdown. seconds ago. Let's I talk see him about repeat your himself plan. every night. It says five things. Everyone's dumb. Senator He's going to make America great Senator again. Trump dismissing Rubio and Cruz as desperate. A search for a motive after a shooting rampage leaves three victims and the gunman dead in Kansas at several locations, including a workplace. Cell Industries, we do have confirmation that he was an employee here. And we're waiting for confirmation on his name a little bit later on. There's a press conference. Kathy Quinn with Fox TV affiliate WDAF and Google backing Apple in its court battle with the FBI planning to file a friend of the court brief on behalf of Apple. Fox News, we report, you decide. When I grow up, I want to be a new pair of blue jeans. When I grow up, I want to be a kid's first computer. When I grow up, I want to be a glass countertop in a new home. When I grow up, I want to be a kid's best birthday present. When I grow up, I want to be a football stadium. When I grow up, I want to be a warm place on a cold day. When I grow up, I want to be a fancy backsplash. I, I want to be a bike that races around the when country. When I grow up, I want to be a bench on a forest when I trail. Grow up, I want to be a rocking chair on when a I sunny up, porch. I want to be a skyscraper. I want to be. 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 When I grow up, I don't want to be a piece of garbage. And if you recycle me, I won't be. Give your garbage another life. Recycle. Learn how at IWantToBeRecycled.org. A public service advertisement brought to you by Keep America Beautiful and the Ad Council. Happy New Year and howdy, folks. Did you ever have someone get fresh with you? Or I'll here to tell you what to do. Just get along down to Dairy Queen Silver Springs and keep your New Year's resolution to eat fresh. That's right, fresh garden salads topped with crunchy fried or grilled chicken or a fresh banana shake or a banana split. That's the kind of fresh folks like at Dairy Queen Silver Springs where they always treat you like kings and queens. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. A chaotic environment makes us feel out of control, so we eat and try to control how we're feeling. A recent study found that for every three hours we spend working, only two are actually productive, which means one-third of our work time is totally wasted. Carpet fibers are fluffy, so there's less surface area touching the food that's dropped compared to a wood floor, so fewer germs are transferred. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Show. Don't miss this stuff. Yeah, blame that drip coming down from the corner of the room. But where did I come from? I'll never tell. Own dry roof you can and we'll fix it right the first time using quality materials and we'll deal honestly and fairly with you, period. You can find Bone Dry Roofing on their website, Bone Dry Roofing, LLC.com, and Facebook at Bone Dry Roofing, LLC. Do it right before your roof needs a tarp to keep the elements out. Bone Dry Roofing stands behind their work to help make your 